Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, we will talk about a utility that can be used to create recovery media for operating systems. It can be a Windows 10 operating system, Windows 11 or any other operating system apart from Windows. And this utility will help us to create an installation media which is also called a recovery media on a USB flash drive. So the name of the utility is Rufus. I'll open Google Chrome and we'll take you to their website. Just search in Google R-U-F-U-S and the very first link would be for Rufus. I'll give you guys the link in the description. So I'll click on the first link. So this is how the Rufus utility looks like. And you can see it says create bootable USB drives the easy way. So uh, I mean it helps you to create bootable USB drives. It can be especially used for cases where you need to create USB installation media from bootable ISO. ISOs are the files which are uh, installation files for operating systems. Secondly, if you need to work on a system that doesn't have operating system. Third, if you need to flash a BIOS or other firmware from DOS or you want to run a low level utility. So now we will check how you can uh, download and use it. So once you are on this website, first make sure uh, you choose the right language. By default, it will show English and then go to the download section towards the bottom and that Rufus 3.20 is the latest version. It might be different when you are trying to download it uh, in, in future like I'm making a video today so right now it is 3.20. In future they may put a newer version. So I'll click on this. You can close the ad. And a file will be downloaded at the bottom left corner if you are using Google Chrome browser. If you are using Firefox, then you may have to look at the top right corner. So simply click on that up arrow and click open. Click on yes on user account control. I will just minimize the window and click yes when it asks you do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online. You can simply say yes or if you'll say no also that would be fine but I'll click on yes. Basically it will check if there is any newer update available but since we have downloaded the latest version there wasn't any update. So this is the interface of uh, Rufus utility. Now plug in your flash drive which should be empty and already formatted. If you don't know how to format a flash drive you can simply go to my computer and when you see the flash drive where you want to uh, save your installation file that is ISO file simply right click on that and click on format make sure you have NTFS file system selected and a check in the quick format option and then click on start click OK 
and it is done. So, I will close this and now you can see your G drive which we have formatted shows up here. Now, we will have to select the ISO image which we have to download from Microsoft in case you are creating an installation media for Windows 10 or 11 or if you are you if you are creating installation media for any other operating system go to the respective website and download their ISO file. So, I have shown that in my previous videos, but I will show you once again you can go to Microsoft website and there is an option to download Windows 11 disk image. There is an ISO file, so we will click on select download, we will select Windows 11 and we will click on download. Now, we will select the language and then click on confirm. Now, it will just tell you that link will be valid for 24 hours. So, we will have to click on 64 bit download. So, it will take some time and the file will be downloaded at the bottom left corner. You can see the progress. Okay, so our ISO file has been downloaded. I will minimize the window and on Rufus utility. So, now we have our pen drive or flash drive selected. So, we will select our ISO image, click on select and this is the one which we have just downloaded. It is in download folder, click open. Leave image option standard windows installation and in partition scheme uh, it should be GPT and the target system should be UEFI. Now, here you can give it a name like I will name it Windows 11 and file system should be NTFS. So, we are ready and we can click on start now. Now, this is something which is very important. So, ever since Windows 11 has been released there were some conditions to install it on uh, a PC like you should have a trusted platform module and it should work only in secure boot. So, that is not the option anymore. If you want you can install it on any PC uh, which does not have that TPM. So, we can create either a standard recovery media if our if our PC meets the system requirement for Windows 11, I mean if it is a new one, but if it is an old one which does not have the TPM module. So, we can select uh, options here, uh, remove requirements for 64 bit, 64 plus RAM and all because it is officially allowed to install Windows 11 on a PC which was not compatible earlier. You can also disable the data collection. There is one more option set a local account using the same name. When you will install Windows 11 using this particular recovery media, it will remember your username, what was the username uh, you had on this PC and it will select the same region which you have on your PC at the moment. So, these are the good options. You can select any option if you want and simply click on OK. So, there is a warning all data on the device will be erased. So, we will simply click on OK. So, it will take some time and the process will be completed.
Okay, so our drive is ready. We can click on close. And now if you check your flash drive, it will have windows on it. So just go to my computer and you will see your installation media. It has Windows 11 in it. And this USB drive can be used to reinstall operating system in future. So that's it in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please click the like button to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you once again. You have a great day. Bye-bye.